What are you binding? I'm binding a set of Vancouver Voyagers. So we have three full pieces for the text and the atlas will go in a quarter or a half binding with marble paper sides and they're going to be in tree calf. Looking at the leather being thin enough for the turnings, but not too thin because they're on large heavy volumes. What type of leather are you working with? I'm using calf, hand stained fair calf. I'm having to watch out for bits of leather getting up underneath the calf, which is not too bad when you're paring with a knife, but when you're spoke shaving, it will add little divots in the legs. Hello, Emily. <laughs> Center of the spine, keeping the joints still quite thick so they don't lose strength but allowing a little bit of subtlety and thinness to go over the raised bands. How long does it usually take to do one um, piece of leather? Yeah, one, yeah, for a book that size. Pairing depends on the leather as far as whether it's sheep milk or calf, it does vary. Um, I find that the Moroccos tend to dull my blades quicker than some of the calves. But also hand dyed skins will dull the blade quicker too. But this is a fairly soft skin. So it really hasn't dulled my blade that much, so I can keep going. So probably 10-15 minutes on an average skin. Obviously if you're doing a half binding or a full binding, it changes. The cost of the leather is, is materials are greater because you have a larger piece of leather. But then your labour is longer because you're pairing corners and a spine and it's a little more fiddly. Two pieces. One more hole to go and then the half for the atlas. How often do you end up having to sharpen your knife? Again, it depends on the piece of leather, but um, I sharpen it properly on a sharpening stone, maybe um, every now and again. Every now and again? Every now and again. <laughs> but I'm constantly <laughs> stropping it, being very careful not to round the blade or take the edge off. What's the difference between stropping and sharpening? Dropping will take the burrs off of the edge of the blade, which are created by sh sharpening and also just by using the knife when it goes dull. Very much the same as a barber used to do with his cutthroat razors.
You're pressing pretty hard. I am pushing hard, mainly just to keep the knife flat rather than to cut. Oh. So I'm pushing down on the on the paring stone rather than into the leather, which is going to give me more of an angle and bevel on the leather. And I'll go around edging it before I spoke shave. Well, there's various reasons for that, and one is also with spoke shaping. The spoke shape will run off the edge of the leather, and without pairing it, you have a step to the leather, and the blade of your spoke shape will hit your ship, your pairing stone, which will damage stone and blade. You can also find that even with one skin, the leather changes all the way round or across the centre, depending on the part of the animal, how much tanning is in certain areas, how soft the skin is. Some skins go hard or it's taken a lot of stain. So when you're cutting your pieces of leather, you are sort of taking into consideration where on the skin you're cutting from? I am, mostly because of checking for damage in the skin or blemishes in the skin rather than anything. Um, but if I'm having to use an area with a spine, I'd rather it running down the center of the book than down the middle of a board. So there's lots of things to take into consideration. Aristotle hiding out. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Also, Aristotle. <laughs> 